If you didn't know, I always listen to music before I film to get in the mood. As I said in yesterday's video, but hello guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing day three of a week with Shani. Today, I really want to do just a really amazing, incredible New Year's Eve makeup look. So New Year's Eve is literally in, what, two days? So, well pretty much tomorrow when I upload this video. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing for New Year's. I just wanna do a really nice makeup look using all of my favorite products, just products that I know that are gonna look amazing and they're gonna last all night on my face. So my favorite look is a warm tone on the eyes, really bronzy on the cheeks, really highlighted, and then an amazing nude glossy lip. So that's what's going to happen today. I hope you guys are enjoying a week with Shani. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more videos. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Oh my God, it is so hot in this room. <laughs> the first thing that I'm doing is starting with the eyes. So that means we're going to shape the face by doing the eyebrows. So I'm taking my favorite eyebrow product at the moment. This is the Benefit Browsings palette in the shade number three. So... We have a wax side and then a powder side. So first I'm going to take the waxy side and just shape the brows. So make the arch nice and high. Um, I guess everyone has different eyebrow shapes though. So it's hard to tell you guys what to do. But just take your favorite eyebrow product and fill your brows in how you like. I obviously want mine to be very dramatic for New Year's. I just find the waxy formula very easy to reshape the eyebrows and then... I like to go in with the powder after because I feel like it kind of sets that down in place. I noticed a lot of people have been commenting on my videos saying they don't like when I do my brows thick like this, but like, I don't care. Sorry. <gasps> Get fucked. That eyeshadow just literally fell out and went all over me. It was there and it was a silver, so I don't really care. This carpet is fully carked. Like there's so many stains of makeup on it. Like I have to replace it. It's so annoying. So the first color, the first color I'm going to take is this medium brown shade right here. And that's going to be a transition color. So I'm just going to load it up on my brush and we're going to pop this in my crease. Oh my God. I love the Marc Jacobs eyeshadows so much. They just work really well. They blend in nicely. They don't fade away into nothing. Beautiful. And I'm just taking that on a Morphe M518 brush. I'm going to blend it up nice and high. I'm actually so excited for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. It's going to be so much fun. I'm just going to be partying and I haven't done that in so long. I mean, it's been like two weeks, let's be real. But like usually I'd go out every weekend. The next color I'm taking is this beautiful burgundy color right here and I'm going to blend that into my crease with a Bedelium Tools 776 brush. This brush feels like the head's about to fall off. Not too sure what's going on there, but let's start by taking this in little windshield wiper motions. Oh my God, this is gonna match my skirt so well. It's gonna be amazing. I'm just trying to figure out if I should wear eye contacts. I mean, I probably won't because they're like kind of uncomfortable, but it'll look so cool if I have like blue eyes. I love just changing up my look, you know? I'm going to try my best to keep this as circular as I can around my crease just because I want to create the illusion of like a bigger eyelid instead of winging it out. But I mean, like, let's be real, I'm probably going to wing it out soon anyway. I was really happy as well this morning. I woke up and I'm like, oh my God, ew. First of all, no, dead skin, ew. Um, I woke up and I'm like, oh my God, my pimples are kind of like going down. Perfect timing. And then I look in the mirror. There's a new one that popped up overnight and I've had enough. I just, I can't do it anymore. Next up, I'm going in. Oh my God, I like actually dropped my finger off. I'm going to go in with this dark brown right here. And I'm just going to pop that on the outer half of my eye to really deepen that area up. But I want most of it to be that cranberry shade anyway. So just a touch. Next thing I'm doing is taking my MAC Fix Plus. I'm just going to spray my brush so it is nice and wet. And then I'm going to take this beautiful color right here and I'm going to pack that on the inner half of my eyelid. This is going to be stunning. I can just feel it, you know. Oh, see? Beautiful. Oh, it's going in my eyeball. Oh. So I've kind of just blended these two colors together by just like patting over it really lightly when there's not much product left on the brush. 
There we go. And then I'm going in with a makeup wipe. I'm going to clean up any fallout. I only have a little bit. And then I take my finger and kind of just run along that line where I clean up the eyeshadow so it kind of like fades it out a little bit. Now it's time for the mascara. This one is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I love this one so much. I'm just gonna coat my top lashes so we can prep them for falsies. I guess it doesn't really matter what mascara you use. It's as long as you make them nice and black. I'm stuck to my light. Oh my God. I literally just got stuck to my umbrella light, my shirt. Ooh. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of wing liner. Okay, so I'm going to take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This one's my fave. I've had it for so long. I can't believe it's not empty. Now time for the lashes. So I'm going to take these ones by Lash Warrior. These ones are literally humongous. Like this is what you call New Year's Eve lashes. They're so big. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and trim them because they are really long and hopefully they're not too long. <laughs> oh, no such thing. These lashes are gonna be massive. I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna stick these as close as I can to the lash line. Oh, then I'm gonna pinch them down. See, as you can see already, it just makes it look so much more dramatic. Big old lashes always fix everything. I literally just spent like 20 minutes blending out my eyeshadow because I really want it to be perfect because in yesterday's video, it was really patchy and some of the dark shades would fade on the outer corner and then it would go darker. It was just, it was not cute at all. So I've made sure that it is just how I want it. So now we can move on to the face. So I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base. Um, I've actually never used it before. I've had it for a while and I'm super excited to see how it goes because I adore Huda, I adore Huda Beauty's makeup products so much, like everything. We're just going to blend this in all over my face. Oh my God. It's very thick and it smells it felt really good actually. It's really sticky, so I feel like it's really gonna make the foundation stick like glue. Now we can move on to the foundation. So I'm gonna take my Jouer High Coverage Cream Foundation. Wow, that is so yellow. Like, what the actual dog is going on? I'm taking this off. I'm just gonna prime again, and then I'm gonna use a foundation that I know is gonna be like the perfect shade. I did not expect it to be that yellow. It is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I just picked up a new one of this, and this one's in the shade 6.5. I haven't used this in so long, but this has always been one of my all-time favorite foundations. It just feels super light on the skin. It has great coverage. It's very watery, so I'm just going to use the other side of the Beauty Blender and bounce this all over. Oh, my God. It's definitely not as high coverage as the other one. Oh. To cover all of that redness goodbye i'm not gonna lie i totally bought this foundation for my friend for his christmas present and here i am using it so sorry Jill, but no christmas present for you <laughs> let's go in with my favorite concealer of all times you guys know what it is i'm sure every single person you watch on youtube uses this as their concealer it is the tart shape tape in the shade light medium i mean for new years we have no time to experiment so this is the best concealer i have it's the best concealer in the world let's be real so i'm just going to put this under my eyes to get rid of any darkness and to highlight at the same time so i'm just going to look up and blend it out with my beauty blender and the great thing about using a beauty blender is it picks up any excess concealer as well it doesn't look cakey it just picks up anything extra that you don't need and blend it out seamlessly. I'm also going to conceal over my tear duct here as well because I'm going to put a nice shimmery shade there. Obviously, it's New Year's Eve. We need a little bit of sparkle. Next thing I'm taking is my favorite translucent powder at the moment. It is the La Prairie Cellular Treatment Loose Powder. Now, the reason why I love this is because it literally melts into the skin. You can put it on and you don't really have to like blend it away because it's just like it just like melts in. It's beautiful. So I'm just going to put a really small amount under there. And let my skin eat it up. I'm also going to bake my laugh lines as well. The great thing about this product is that it doesn't like make the face stiff at all. 
it just sets it and then it just like leaves the building. It's great. Maybe my nose as well. I never thought like a $200 powder would be worth it, but I actually think it is. Okay, so let's move on to the powder. I'm going to set my whole face with the MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC42. I usually use my um, Benefit Hello Flawless powder all the time, but like I've ran out. I've used two in my life and I've ran out and I'm really sad. So I'm just going to use this for now. I mean, it's not bad. It's definitely making my face a little bit more orange. Oh, wait, that would have been something on my brush. Hmm. This one's actually a foundation powder, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. So it's going to add a little bit of extra coverage. Why not? Don't forget to do the ears and drag it down the neck. <laughs> oh, God. Then I'm going back in with this Marc Jacobs palette right here. I love it so much. I'm going to take that burgundy... I mean, no, not burgundy. It's like a purpley brown. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. But I'm going to keep it really close to the actual lash line. I'm actually so obsessed with this makeup look. It's not like the typical burgundy look because it has like purple tones in it too. Like this brownie purple shade. Then I'm going to take the burgundy shade and blend just underneath that. So we have a nice gradient under the eyes. I think these colors work really well together. Then I'm going in with a white eyeliner to really open up my eyes. This one is Mr. Right Eyeliner. Oh, God, from the balm. Did I just, like, poke my makeup off? I've had enough. Okay, I'm just going to look up, warm it up on the back of my hand, and go into town. And then, of course, going in with the Bobbi Brown Mascara again, I'm just going to coat my bottom lashes so they're nice and long. I feel like this mascara is... <gasps> That was close. Then to set the eyebrows down, I'm taking the Benefit 3D Brow Tones in the shade 2. Well, is that a shade? Wouldn't say so. But this is a light brown. I'm just going to push my brows upwards. Give them a little bit of texture. Come here. Oh my god, Benny has sticky tape on her foot. I thought she was into something. Come here, Ben. What is this, Ben? Oh. You like darling. All right, let's move on to the bronzer. I'm taking the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm going to use this as a contouring shade. So I'm just going to put this in the hollows of my cheekbone. Oh my God, I'm starting to get that foundation line. No, thank you. And I'm also going to take this around my forehead as well, just to deepen it up a tiny bit. Of course, my jawline. It actually tastes like chocolate. Because like, I'm inhaling all the little particles and... Now we can go in with the really bronzy shade. So this is from Ofra. It is a blush slash bronzer, apparently. This one's in the shade Bronzing Gold. I love this so, so much. I'm just going to take an angled brush. This one's from MAC. And I'm going to get rid of the excess and just go into town. I feel like these angle brushes are a lot better to use than like a big fluffy brush because when I use a big fluffy brush, it comes down too far, like under here. I feel like someone's having a party outside. Like, why does that keep happening? Like, go back to work. I've had enough. I'm kidding. Holidays are great. Like, where all the shimmer is, it makes it look a little bit dirty because it's like gold flecks. I don't know. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the Terracotta Bronzer by Guerlain. Looks like this. It's a little bit more orange. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use that one too much. I'm just going to bake with my La Prairie powder to clean up that line. Then I'm just going to blend it all away. And we should have a cleaner line. Nothing too dramatic though. Now we can move on to the blush. So this is one of my favorites. It is the NARS blush in the shade Luster. It's like a corally pinky shade. And it is very shimmery. So it looks beautiful on the cheeks. I'm just going to blend this in with that same bronzer brush that I use. Because I want the cheeks to be super bronzy. But just with a pop of pink. Now for the moment that everyone's been waiting for, highlight. Well, at least I've been waiting for this moment. It is the Ofra highlight in the shade Rodeo Drive. So I'm just going to absolutely douse this all over my cheekbones. Like, obviously for New Year's, I want to be glowing like crazy. Holy. This is the Anastasia A23 brush. It's the best highlighting brush. I've said that a million times. Oh my God. Yeah, that's too light for me. Shit, I'm using the wrong one. And it keeps applying it. 
I was supposed to use the one in the shade Blissful. This one's more of like a peachy shade. Suits my skin tone better. Could you imagine if I just left it like that? Hi, Stripes is here. Wow, send help. Then for the lips, we're going in with my favorite lip liner at the moment. It is from Jouer. It is the Longwear Cream Lip Liner and it's in the shade... I feel like I should always look at the shade first. It's in the shade Sienna. This is a really nice nude color. And then for the lip color, I'm going to take these lipsticks by Buxom. We have two shades here. The first one is nude and the second one is buff. So I'm going to put the buff shade in the middle to make more of like an ombre. But the reason why I don't want to do like a liquid lipstick is because it makes that really gross line like right there. So I don't want that to happen. I want it to kind of fade a little bit better. So that's why I'm using this one. Oh my god, it's so light. I didn't realize. I used to wear this all the time. I'm going to go back in with that lip liner and outline my lips once again, just so we have a little bit more definition on the lips because it is so light. The last thing I'm doing is taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Make Makeup Setting Spray. This one's in Long Lasting. This is going to be perfect for New Year's. I need my makeup to stay on all night. Oh, oh my God, guys. I was so close to forgetting an inner corner highlight. So I'm going to go in with this Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot in the shade Top Yacht. So it's a really nice champagne-y, sparkly shade. So I'm just going to take a pencil brush and pack it on my inner corner. Actually, I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus as well. I feel like this is what's going to add a lot of like drama, a lot of New Year's-y vibes to it. I swear to God, I just heard Michael yell out, Oh, you look like one. <sighs> Fucking hell. I just put in my little hoops. So now I'm going to go in with that highlighter that I used before. And I'm just going to highlight my collarbones. This is going to make... This is, I can never say that probably. This is going to make everything look even better. Add a bit of sparkle up here. Don't forget to do the actual shoulder. You can just do that if you really want. <laughs> This is what the final result looks like. I'm so happy with how it looks. I love the lip color. I know a lot of people might think it's a little bit too light, but I don't really wear a light lip that often. So I don't know I feel like it's a little bit different and I just love the way it looks and I love cranberry on the eyes. I'm so happy with how they look, especially with this like cute little baby wing. I'm so proud of myself. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos. And remember, I'm uploading every day for a week. So make sure you stay tuned for all of those videos. And let me know down below what videos you guys want to see next for my last two. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. Well, tomorrow. Bye. I didn't realize it was recording. I was just taking selfies for like 20 minutes. <laughs>